right, let me get you out the door show you what's going on tonight. It is a quiet <laughs> night in terms of any kind of rain, that type of thing, very different than it was yesterday. But we are talking cold, and I show you the four shots, different cameras around our region, because everybody is going to get in on this. You folks down the shore, especially you guys up in the higher elevations near the Poconos, where right now you're already at 31 degrees for Mount Pocono. We're in the 40s up and down the I-95 corridor. Which by themselves, yeah, that's chilly, no doubt. But you got to add the wind chill to it, and we're seeing these wind chill factors that are at or below freezing in most spots. Here's the forecast, say around Philly. We'll keep it right around that 34 to 33 degree range the next couple of hours. But I see us dropping below freezing for the wind chill, like eight, nine o'clock tonight, and then we're down into the 20s. I do not see our wind chill factor getting above freezing until Thursday. Once we go down, I know it's Monday night at, at you know 6:16. It's going to be a cold one. That's why we're on weather alert. Wind chills tonight, 17 to 25. Talking about our high temperature tomorrow. Closer look at these numbers here. The high temperature forecast, 37 degrees. That is not the wind chill. That is the air temperature. That is a cold day for mid January, let alone late November, where our normal high tomorrow is 51 degrees. The last time we had a temperature colder than that was on February 26. With tomorrow, that'll be 276 days ago. So it has been some time. In fact, the 37 forecast for tomorrow will be one of the coldest temperatures of the year so far, by far, uh, and one of the coldest if we account for all the cold air from last season, even going back into December. So now let's talk about the other part of the story. Of course, we have the winds and the wind chill. We have some white on the map here, which is lake effect snow. And when we look at our updated future cast and we're analyzing the models, meteorologist Grant Gilmore and I were looking at it together and we, we made the call that we're going to go weather alert for A, the temperatures, but B, the potential for look at the little blue cutting through here. We could be talking about the first snowflakes of the season flying around in parts of our area tomorrow. This is not a big accumulating snow. This is not a stopping I-95 snow by any stretch. And most of you will not have this. But there could be some areas where you're driving around and you encounter some snowflakes, maybe even a little dusting late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And this could go right on into the afternoon. It's more just indicative of some change as we're transitioning into the season than it is some kind of big snowmaker. But for all of those reasons, primarily the temperature and the wind chill, we're going to be on weather alert for tomorrow and Wednesday. Once again, not even getting above freezing with that wind chill until Thursday. Tracking rain on Friday, then guys again, possibly for the Eagles game once more this upcoming Sunday. Over to you.